So it doesn't matter if Joe Biden's in or out. You no, make I, that decision separate no. of him. The, the merits of whether or not I'm going to run for president has nothing to do with the, who's going to be the Democratic nominee. As you know, I've been very public about my concern about how far left uh, the Democratic Party is leaning. And uh, I think there's a great opportunity, given how extreme both parties are. The vast majority of Americans are in the middle. Uh, I am a centrist. I have been a lifelong Democrat, but the Democratic Party left me. I didn't leave them. All right, uh, Brandon has the next question. I think Brandon's over here. Go ahead. Good Hi, evening. Brandon. Hi, how are you? At what point would you bow out of the race if all indications were that your candidacy would only split the vote and hand Trump a second presidency or our second term? Or is there a point at which you would make that decision? Well, well let, me, let me answer that. First of all, thank you for the question. Let me, let me answer it this way. Uh, let's ask the question, why, why am I here and why am I considering doing this? First issue, my love of the country, most importantly, wanting to do everything for families who are being left behind. I grew up in public housing. I know what it means to be poor, to have the shame of being poor. 40% of American families today don't have $400 in case of an emergency. I want those families to have the opportunity of the American dream. The third thing is, I want to restore trust and confidence in government and in our leaders. The American people have lost trust in Congress and in this president. And the last thing is, and perhaps most importantly, is that this is an opportunity right now for us to recognize that things aren't exactly going the way they should. This is a great evening because there are Republicans, Democrats, and independents in this room. This is a no-hate zone. And, and I want to do everything I can to find the common purpose of our common values and bring the Amer American people together. In terms of your specific question, what I've said publicly is I'm not going to be a spoiler. What does that mean? Well, first off, if a Democrat runs who resembles uh, Bernie Sanders, who says he's a Democratic Socialist, Donald Trump is going to get reelected. If Howard Schultz is in the race, I feel strongly that lifelong Republicans on the character issue alone, and I'm not going to bash the president on any level today. I'm not here for that. I want to talk about the future of the country. But on the character issue alone, lifelong Republicans will not vote for Bernie Sanders, but they might vote for somebody who is independent, a centrist, and wants to restore a faith and confidence in the promise of the country. Thank you.